show coming up. Oh, we can't lose tonight. We got a good one, Max. This is a good show. Mm. All right. Just because I said so. Uh, I want to mention something you may not be aware of. I just talked about the 75th anniversary of NBC. Well, this year also marks the 75th anniversary of Charles Lindbergh's historic flight across the Atlantic. Uh, that's right. It was in 1927 that Lindbergh flew his single-engine plane, the Spirit of St. Louis, from New York to Paris in 33 hours and 29 minutes. And uh, this is what's been in the news lately. To celebrate that amazing accomplishment, Lindbergh's grandson, Eric Lindbergh, recreated his grandfather's difficult and exhausting flight, and he touched down in Paris early this morning. It's very exciting. A lot of people are talking about it. I'm a big history buff. So I've been following uh, Eric's progress, Eric Lindbergh's progress every step of the way. In fact, I was so excited about it, I was able to talk to Eric Lindbergh by telephone during the flight, and that was a real thrill for me. And I actually, uh, we rolled tape on it. We have videotape of my conversation with him. I was so excited. Eric, can you hear me? I hear you loud and clear, Conan. Great. How's it going so far? Fantastic. I'm about 2,000 miles across the ocean right now, and let me tell you, it is just gorgeous. Are you holding up okay? I know it's a long, arduous flight. Yeah, there have been a few rough moments. Uh, wait, hold on a second. This is pasta! I said I want chicken, you idiot! Sorry. Well, sorry, nothing caught it. Do you know who I am? I am Charles Lindbergh's grandson. Now bring me my chicken! Sorry, Conan, I better go. Well, good luck. Thanks a lot. Four dollars for headphones. You gotta be kidding me. Get out of my bed! It wasn't as exciting as I thought. Wah, wah. All right, everybody, we'll take a little break. When we come back, very funny guy, Patton Oswalt is here. We'll see you in a